Hi my friends, today we model this interesting part taken from industry. The name is uh, switching fork and the drawing is right here. We start by creating this uh, uh, revolution part together with the, the internal volume. Dimensions are here, I don't repeat them. So let's start standard millimeter IPT XY plane. We draw an axis starting from this point horizontal at 130 this is the center line and we draw some lines starting from here vertical horizontal about here down right down again up I don't want to place it at the same level with other entities but this last one I want to be at the same level and I go back to the to the axis you see when I move this line both are moved any other one is not connected with them neither this Okay, dimensions for this external contour 75 20 plus 30 then this is 3.6 this is 10 this is 15.5 uh, and this is 12 now diameters this is uh, 70.26 next one is 68 then uh, 64 point five and the last is uh, seventy. We have a fully constrained sketch. We continue with internal entities. This twenty five diameter of six sixty and diameter of fifty. This is 20 plus 30. They are placed in the drawing and I don't uh, pl place here 50 because I'm a mathematician. No, we place right that dimensions. Good. This is 25. 
then we go down and to the right horizontal dimensions this is sixty and this is fifty once again fully constrained sketch revolve we select this and uh, the axis is only one in this uh, model good now I want to change the, the angle of view to do this I select redefine of the sketch and another plane now is used this one xy but I want to use the other one now you see the other view you can create uh, such uh, views at the beginning of modeling because the other um, features can have other references you see we continue with uh, the fork these two features dimensions here 65 radius 15 angle of 15 radius 20 for an arc tangent to this circle 38 radius 20 and the whole of 16 we use this plane for a new sketch we draw a vertical line we keep press the left button we go somewhere here then tangent we place on the same vertical this point with this center point we place on the same vertical these two points radius 15 distance of 65 between these two centers angle of 15 then we can create an arc from here to the circle and tangent if we can obtain that uh, constraint we did <laughs> this is 20 and the placement of this point is at 38 point as I said 38.5 now we have a fully constrained sketch we add the circle of 16 diameter and we can extrude this area on 15 this direction okay we apply the fillet of 15 to this edge not 15 20 okay then we create the other feature by using rectangular and selecting these two features the direction is uh, the axis Z not this direction but the other one two instances at a distance of 15 plus 20 
Okay. Good. Now you see that there is a hole here of matrix 6 in the middle of this feature, not the other one. We can create this by using uh, some uh, work features. To create that hole, all we need is an axis and a point on the axis. We start with the mid plane between this face and this face. Then we activate the axis tool. We select this plane and we also select this point. Now you see the axis is present in our model. Then we select point on the axis and on this face. This is the point. Then we apply hole. Threaded, ISO, metric profile 6. Yes, I, I used this uh, solution. We select firstly the point, then the axis. We see that this direction is not good. I renounce to this option. I go to the other one because I want to select the other direction. Now I select 2 because this is the end of that hole. Okay. Now I hide the work point and the axis. We don't need them anymore. Now we have to create these cuts around the model. Dimensions are here. Six uh, arcs with the centers on a circle with diameter of 78 and they are with a radius 5. We use uh, this circle 70.26 which is this one. You see? We create a new sketch on this face then a circle F7 to see both diameters a circle with a radius of 5 placed on the same vertical with the center point and at a distance of 78 divided by 2 because this is a radius finish sketch extrude this small sector is to be extruded but with cut the distance is 50 you see 50 okay where is 50 50 is here Then we apply circular pattern for the last feature about this axis and by default is 6, the number of instances. The part has a cut here, you see it. Its dimensions are simple. A line of 35 degrees, distance 5 from the center point, and a depth of 20. We use again this face. 
we draw a line, a sloped line, at an angle of 35. This angle is 35. Then we place the distance between the line and this center of uh, 5. Finish sketch, extrude this with cut on 20. Okay. The other feature is this uh, keyway. Dimensions are here. 14, 28.8. You see in many views this uh, keyway. We use this face, we draw a rectangle with the other dimension of 14. The center of this line is coincident with the center point and the distance is 28. Point eight. Finish sketch. Extrude. We select everything with cut all the way through the part. Okay. The last feature is uh, a small cut. You see here this face is not aligned with the other. Dimensions are 0 0.5 and 20. We turn the part, we select this face for a new sketch, we draw a horizontal line between some points I don't want to be connected with anything else. Dimension is 20. Finish sketch, extrude this face, cut of 0.5. You see that uh, step. Now I suppose we finish the part, my friends. Let's see what is the volume. High properties, physical, update, copy, close, drawing, double click, and the new value is absolutely identical with the original one. Material is uh, still carbon and the view with the light default lights. Now if I apply perspective we have the same object you see. Good that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye